Now yesterday we had done the Henry's law and we came to the conclusion that as the pressure of the gas above the liquid that is in the in the gaseous phase increases the amount of solubility of the gas in the liquid increases okay now it is due to that um, that uh, uh, but but uh, for this the temperature was a constant fine at a constant temperature we also saw that as you start increasing the temperature what happens the solubility of the gas in the liquid decreases okay so that we had done yesterday so as as the temperature is increased the solubility of the gases in liquid decreases correct now henry's law has a lot of applications in our real life and some of them are actually life saving okay so so applications of henry's law fine now two things one of them involves the henry's law the other does not if you have seen the mega structures and mega factories in discovery then they'll uh, they they show the coke plant at one point of time and you'll find that the the in cold drinks the packaging is done at a high pressure to keep the co2 dissolved in the liquid to keep the co2 dissolved in the liquid there's another thing so when you buy a cold drink bottle it is very very stiff if you try to press it thinking that it is water then it simply does not get pressed okay and 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 suppose you 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 open the bottle then what happens you actually release the pressure so the solubility goes down and after that when you recap it what happens you again find that there is some gas and 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 really stiff why because some of the co2 that was dissolved in the liquid that has come out because say maybe from 4 bar of pressure or say 3 bar of pressure you reduced it to atmospheric pressure that is around 1 bar okay and due to that a lot of co2 came out in your bottle and when you open it and there is a small kind of sound that is due to that co2 escaping it is all co2 okay that is one how does temperature come into play yeah if you have seen the seen that um, mega factories on the discovery you'll find while dissolving carbon dioxide in it they make it chilled it's approximately at about 1 degree 2 degree centigrade so that more of co2 goes into the cold drinks okay so though it costs them a lot of money it costs them a lot of money then you understand what you understand the scenario what is happening is while you are making it either you keep everything pressurized that will cost you more money 
than chilling the whole liquid. So they actually chill it, mix CO2, then bring it out and pressurize it and then pack it so that hmm? pressure how, how do they pressurize it? Oh, you have not seen. So, so they pour the liquid, there is a method by which they pour say 1.5 liter of coke, then there is uh, an excess uh, the the vacant space, there you pump in CO2 and tighten the tighten the oh, cap. That also gets that absorbed. Hmm? That's chilled. No, 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 no. no. Chilled when, when you bubble CO2 through it, that you do when the, the when the cold drink is chilled. Then you bring it, put it in in this thing, and put CO2, and then again repack it, tighten it with that, so that it stays there. Okay. Then there is. Another phenomena that is called phenomena of bend. Phenomena of bends. Okay, so so this high pressure is due to due to that. So if you want mole more mole fraction into the liquid, uh, this has to be. Hi. Now we come to phenomena of bends. What happens when divers they are doing some deep sea diving and we understand as you go down the pressure increases. How does it increase? We know that if I move a height h or, or a depth h in a liquid with the density rho, then this is how the pressure increases. Correct? Correct. So if the fellow goes maybe a kilometer down, what happens? This becomes 1000. What is this? What is this? Rho? That's about 1000 kg per meter cube. So 1000 is, is 10 to the power 6 multiplied by this g, that is 10. That gives you how much? That is 10 to the power 7, that is about 10 to the power 7. So, hmm? 10 to the power 7 Pascal. Okay. That is 10 to the power 7 Pascal, that is 100 bar. You understand? So, it is about 100 atmosphere more. So, whatever pressure he is feeling at this point, at the sea level, that is 1 atmosphere. If he, if, he, if he dives down, it is it's slightly less than, slightly less than 100 times that. So, you can say it is about 100 times the pressure that he was feeling here. Okay? So, that means if he goes down just by mere 100 meters, which is not a big deal, the, the divers keep on doing that. He is feeling a pressure of 10 atmosphere. Okay? 100, 1000 and 10. So, this is 10 to the power 6. One atmosphere is approximately 1015, 1.015 into 10 to the power 5 only and he is, he is experiencing one order more, 10 times more. Correct. Now, what happens? The, the, uh, the, uh, the breathing apparatus that they carry also has some nitrogen into it. Now, at such a high pressure, what happens? Due to the pressure of the, because the, the pressure on the cylinder also goes up. Okay? So, the cylinder is also being compressed at 10 atmospheres. So, what happens? You are taking in, you are, your lung, so, so it goes into your lung, you breathe in and you are not breathing in at one atmosphere, now you are breathing in at about 10 atmosphere okay, or slightly less than that. Now what happens? Due to this pressure, more of the gases than would have gone 
uh, uh, more of the gases go into your blood stream than would have gone when you were at the sea level. Okay? Due to this pressure. So the gases that will go are only there in the uh, container. Also. In the container. But, and that contains nitrogen also. Okay? Why? So, hmm? why the, if it creates bank, then why does it create, uh, contain nitrogen? Then, then that's how they reduce it. They put some helium into it. That's what. Okay. So put Only take? Oxygen. No, you cannot take uh, that much amount of oxygen is also not kind of good. Hmm. It's also costly and apart from that, it's uh, your, your system is attuned to something, right? You, you just cannot change it to something else. So, so that nitrogen goes into your capillaries and when these people, so, so, so far so good. So, you understand what happens through your lung they are with pressure being pushed into your bloodstream, more and more of nitrogen. What happens when the fellow comes out and the pressure here has gone down to one atmosphere, that's why they suddenly also do not come up, you know. So, so and, and, and the pressure, pressure goes down, then that nitrogen which had seeped into your bloodstream, that starts oozing out of it in form of bubbles. And many a times it gets stuck into the capillaries, it blocks the capillaries and the fellow will experience a, a lot of pain and many a times they faint and many a times they die. It, it is fatal. Okay. Now this phenomena is caused only by nitrogen. So what we do, we reduce the amount of nitrogen and put some amount of helium into the gas tank. Then this phenomenon, and this phenomenon is called bend. Okay. So this phenomena of bends goes down if you put helium instead of instead of nitrogen. So so and 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 helium is uh, also like nitrogen a very very inert kind of gas. So so it won't uh, make any uh, chemical reaction after it goes into your bloodstream. That's another headache that you'll face, right? If you put in some other gas and goes and starts reacting with the blood in some other way, then to eliminate one problem, you have invited another, correct? So, deep sea divers operate at very high pressures, at very high pressures. Due to this, the due to this, due to the high pressure. A large amount of oxygen mixed with nitrogen seeps into their blood when they come at the sea level when they come at the sea level bubbles out the nitrogen gas bubbles out and blocks the capillaries this leads to severe pain unconsciousness and sometimes 
death. This phenomena is called bend. To avoid this, we put in helium. To avoid this, we put more helium into the tank. by reducing nitrogen gas and we use about 12 percent helium okay about 12 percent helium and about 56 percent 56 percent nitrogen and 32 percent oxygen this is the composition we increase oxygen a bit okay <coughs> if you go to hospitals If you go to hospitals, you will find in good hospitals, they have a hyperbaric chamber. Okay. What are they supposed to be doing? Hyperbaric chambers. Hyper is high, baric is, is, is the pressure. Okay. So, You know, you have got oxygen cylinders, fine. So the people who are not able to breathe properly, they are put on they, oxygen masks over their faces, right? Now, oxygen masks have their own limitations because the carbon dioxide that you are releasing also accumulates there only, fine. So. So you are obviously the, the cylinder is pumping in oxygen, but you are also taking in your own carbon dioxide. Though there are ventilations for that to go out, you cannot completely eliminate it. Many of the patients which are very frail, very weak, they start choking on to that. Fine. So what they do, the whole room, there is a there is a room that is absolutely airtight, they pump up more oxygen into the room itself correct and put the patient inside that room now what happens what you burst hmm? what the patient burst due to the <laughs> it depends on what amount of pressure you have built in right so so by experiments they have come to an amount of pressure now what happens so so someone whose whose lung muscles and and those things are weak so he is not kind of even do like that so what happens the air by force enters the nostrils expands the lungs seeps in and and the the residual air comes out fine so and and you you understand because if you start increasing it more then then carbon dioxide also has to come out fine so a balance is stuck where and, and collapsing the muscles collapse easily okay it is stretching that actually requires effort so that stretching part is done by that higher pressure and then it collapses so so extremely weak patients and old patients or the patients who are not able to respond much they are put in such chambers okay where the pressure is raised slightly above so oxygen is pumped in a room and the pressure of the room increases and the pressure of the 
room